Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to HTML and CSS Series 1, Lesson 9, and in this video we're going to start styling the banner. <laughs> Alright gang, so as you can see I've got the PSD open right here, and I just want to walk you through a couple of things first of all, what we're going to do in this lesson. We're going to concentrate on this banner right here, and the first thing we need to do is make that image full width, because as you can see it spans from the very left to the very right. Second thing we need to do is contain this stuff within that central column. So we're going to use that wrapper class to do that. And thirdly, we just want to style up this text and make this green button right here. Now, I'm not going to be concerned about the exact font family of this text or exact font weight, etc. Because I want to concentrate on the process of doing this rather than the technical details, okay? So you can go away and tweak them yourself if you like, or if you have a client uh, with an end product, you can get them perfect. In this video, I want to focus on the process. So I'm going to jump back over to the code now. And you can see here, I've got the HTML of the banner right there. And this is where we left off in the CSS down here. So first thing we need to do is if we expand this, you can see it's not full width. We need to make that image full width. So to do that, we need to grab the lead banner div, which is that thing right there, because that's where the image is contained. And then we want to get the image within that. So we'll say lead banner image. And then we want to say that the width is going to be 100% perfect. That's all we need to do with the image. Oops, that's not worked. Why is that? Lead, oh, that's why. I've spelt lead wrong. There we go. Okay, so now that's 100% width, but it's very deep, okay? Now, fair enough, on smaller screens, if it was, say, this width, that would be fine. That's the right depth, but when it's full screen, it's quite deep. Now, I want to contain that so that it, at most it's maybe this high right here, something like that. So we can do that by grabbing the lead banner div and we're going to give it a max height so let's say lead hyphen banner and then we'll say max height is 440 pixels okay and then anything overflowing that is going to be hidden so now you can see this is the maximum height it's ever going to be no matter how wide the screen is cool the final thing I want to do to this is give it a position property and that's going to be relative because when we position this stuff right here, the text, absolutely within this, it needs a relative div to position relative to, right? So that's the last property I want for the lead banner. Next thing I want to grab is the banner overlay. And I want to just basically position this absolutely within that container. We need to give it a top property of 20%. That'll just position it around about here. And then we'll say the width is going to be 100% because we want it to span across the whole thing. And that wrapper is going to keep it within that central column. So if we expand now, you can see the whole element is this width right here. But the wrapper is at play, keeping it within this central column. Pretty cool, yeah? So the next thing we need to do is start styling up this text right here. So. I'm going to grab the banner title div, which is right here. And I'm going to give that a color, first of all, of white, which is FFF in Xcode. And then I'm going to say text transformation. No, oh, text transform rather, not transformation, um, uppercase. And then what I want to do is make this aerial. I know they're not aerial in the PSD, like I say, but I want it to look slightly similar. It doesn't have to be the exact font family in this kind of tutorial series. I just want to show you the process, like I say, but I am going to make it aerial to make it look a little bit similar. But the same goes for the rest of the text on the page. Now, rather than giving each different element a font family attribute or property, I'm going to just go up to the body right at the top up here, and I'm going to say font family Aerial, and that's going to make everything within it aerial by default. It's going to inherit that style. So I want to scoot back down to the bottom here, and I'm going to give this banner title a font size of around 72 pixels, make it nice and big. Cool. And then the next thing we need to do is this p tag under here, which is there. So to do that, we need to grab again the lead banner. And then the p tag within that and we'll say color fff we want to give that a font size of around about 24 pixels and we'll say max width 
of 600 pixels. That's going to keep it in this little bit here because if you look at the PSD, that's exactly what it does there. All right. So we've done that. The next thing we want to do is give it a margin top of around about 10 pixels just to bring it away from that title a little bit. All right. And once we've done that, we want to come down to this button right here. Now, if we look at the PSD, you can see it's got a slight gradient on it, right? Now, yeah, we can write it from scratch in CSS, but it's easier just to go to a website which can generate that code for you, okay? Because it's quite long-winded. So what I'm gonna do is bring open this website right here, colorzilla.com forward slash gradient editor. I'll pop this link in the description down below so you can go there as well. And what you do is you just choose a gradient off here. I just choose a simple one like this here. And then you go to the start point you press this and you put your hex code color in. I've got this from Photoshop already. And you do the same for the other end right here. You put your color in there. And then it generates this code for you right here. It's a vertical gradient, just like the button is on the PSD. So we'll copy that code. And then what we're going to do is pop that into our A tag right here. So we need to say lead banner A. And then we're going to pop this gradient code right in there like that. I'm just going to get all this and scoot it across a little bit. Cool. All right, so that should give it a gradient. We can't see it very much at the minute because it's only very small, but when we add out other styles, we'll be able to see that. Uh, the next thing I want to do is say color white. Uh, we want to give this a display property of block so that we can give it that padding and margin. We'll say the width is going to be 200 pixels. And we'll say the font size is about 18 pixels. The text align property should be set to center, so it's in the middle. Then we're going to give it a padding of 16 pixels, top and bottom. But we don't need it on the left and right because we've already set a definite width. So we'll say zero for left and right. Um, next thing we need is a text decoration property. And that's going to be none to take away that underline. We want a border radius of about five pixels to give it those little corners. And we want to say text transform uppercase, make them all capitals. Uh, then we want to scoot it away from the text at the top. So we'll give it a margin top property of around about 30 pixels. Again, this is not exact. I'm just kind of doing this of what I think you know to look good uh, if you've got a, an exact um, designer who wants things doing pixel perfect then you're gonna have to go into Photoshop find out how many pixels are between each element and just pop those in the CSS um, but for now this will do and then finally I just want to give it a little box shadow and that's gonna be one pixel one pixel six pixels and then an RGBA um, so we can pass through uh, an alpha channel we're gonna say zero 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 and make it about 0.4 all right then so if we make this full width now you can see we've got the title the text here the button looking pretty cool and this is full width but not too high if we look at the PSD you are going to notice some little differences you know like the font size font family the space between these etc like I say I'm not getting into the real nitty-gritty technical aspects of this uh, process I just want to show you the overall process and you can go in and tweak your CSS properties dependent on your design all right so that's the banner sorted guys I'll show you this one more time and um, there it is so the next thing we're gonna do is jump down into this main content and we're gonna style up these different things here we're gonna start that in the next lesson so until then guys if you enjoyed these videos don't forget to subscribe share and like and I'll see you in the next one